Today on Gig Faster TV, we're going to ask a question. Should a band form an LLC? Should you form a corporation? I'm Craig Kelly, your host from Gig Faster. Before we get started, be sure you hit the subscribe and the bell so that you get notifications for every other episode that we're going to publish and you keep in contact with us. Thanks for doing that. Okay, diving right in. Should a band form an LLC, a limited liability corporation? You know, it's really a good question. Um, first off, before we go any further, I've never gone to law school. I've read books. I suggest everybody else read books. It's a really good thing. But I am not an attorney, and this information is for entertainment purposes only. Use it as you will, but I'm not advising anything. For legal counsel, find a good music attorney. So, knowing that I'm not a lawyer, I, I wanted to share some information. I thought, you know, it would help you determine if you need to form an LLC or corporation or not. First of all, if you're just getting started and you just started writing your own music and you just started performing and you're just getting out there, um, then I'm just, I would suggest no, it's not. You don't have to go through all that expense and, and, and just uh, work at this point. You have nothing to protect, really. Like, that's for protecting. Like, an LLC really is kind of, a, it's a protection for you. There are tax advantages. And you definitely want to start on the right foundation, but it's not necessarily something you need right out the gate. You know, once you start getting some traction, then that's whenever you really you're going to want to start looking into it, you know, and talking to, uh, you know, a music attorney or a regular attorney who, who's knowledgeable with the music business, Um doesn't necessarily have to be a music attorney, but why not? Um, if you're going to buy gold, go to the person who specializes in gold. If, you, if you're going to buy concrete, go to the guy who specializes in that. So, yeah, there's tons of people out there, so I would do that. Now, first off, what is an LLC? Some of you might not even know what an LLC is. It stands for Limited Liability Company. And... It's a business structure that provides a business with limited liability. It's similar to a corporation, which it, it basically is, but the structure is easier to establish and it's very simple to maintain. When you have a corporation, you have to make sure you keep your books. You have to have meetings, hold annual meetings and take notes and all these, all these like dumb things it's just to keep it legal and LLC is a little more lenient on that kind of thing and it was kind of designed for like an individual type of business and it provides the business with pass-through treatment of income for tax purposes it's like similar to a sole proprietor of partnerships I know this is like you're like, wait, 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 what, what, what? Like, if you're in business by yourself, you're basically a sole proprietor. You're you're just an individual selling goods or services. Um, and if you're in business with somebody else, that's a that's a partnership. And I'm not going to get into those. They can be dangerous, so you got to be careful about those. So now, is it a mistake to set up an LLC too early? A lot of people spend a lot of time setting things up, doing a lot of things without doing anything. Like, you know, it's kind of like, for example, like say with a band, you go, you buy a big PA system, you practice and practice and practice, you buy all your equipment and you, you know, you pick all the songs and you just, you know, and it's just like, okay, but you never actually go out and perform or you never get a book a gig or anything. And like the best way to learn is to just do it. It's like you can practice until you're blue in the face. And if you don't actually have a time where you set a deadline, then it's like, who cares? It's not, you're not going to, you're not going to 
you're just wasting your time. So that's like you want you want to get out there, you book a gig. Okay, I have a gig on October 1st or whatever. It's like, okay, I have three weeks to get ready for it. Guess what? You're going to get ready for it and you're going to be ready for it. And then you're going to do it and you're going to learn so much from just that one experience. It's, it's the same thing. You set yourself a deadline. For this, like you can set all this stuff up and not even have any gigs or anything. So it's like, if you don't, if you're not actually working, if you're not selling something, if you're not out there like gigging and, and doing anything, then it's not worth setting it up. And if you're serious about format, then you need to be 100% dedicated to making money with your music because it is, there is going to be expense. You're going to have to pay to register it. You're going to have to, you know, your taxes, if you don't know what you're doing, you know, as far as like filing your taxes, you're going to have to get an, a, a, an accountant to help you with that. Like they're just added expense for stuff like this that you don't necessarily need when you're just starting out. So once you start making money and there's something to protect and you know, you, you, you could save money and taxes and other things, then that's when you want to do it. Now, what are the benefits of setting up an LLC for, for you or your band? Um, and I'm going to give you four right now. Number one, it's going to protect your personal assets. So again, I'm not an attorney. I'm just giving, kind of giving you good, some, good information on an LLC and how it could benefit you. But what you really need to do is go through when, when you get to the time, like do your own research. I'm just, I'm just introducing it to you. So, you know, it's going to protect your personal assets. So what it's going to do is when you have things in the business, they're the only things that will be liable to somebody else if something bad goes happen. Somebody wants to sue you or something like that. You're not going to have any of your personal things be in jeopardy. You know, you won't want to lose all your money or if you have a house, your house and all that stuff. You want to, you want what's at risk in the business. Number 2, it's going to save you on taxes. Income will pass through to you, through you, to you individually. But you could save money on corporate taxes. Big corporations pay a lot of taxes and they have tax attorneys to help them save as much money as possible because taxes, you get taxed in and out and around everywhere. You, everybody's getting taxed. So it's going to save you on taxes. Number three, it's, it could be easier to set up accounts like bank accounts and credit cards that are just for the business so that you can keep it separate so that if your band is buying equipment and maybe you have a credit card for the band you can put it on that credit card so that it's the band liability it's not like you now a lot of times you'll have to personally guarantee that so that's a little bit of a uh, gray area but it'll be it'll help you set up accounts and and keep it separate and it i think for my myself it will clarify member ownership there's so many bands you you know that break up and then all of a sudden one says, "Hey, you can't use that name. You can't go on tour with that name. Like I own that name. Like you know, those are the kind of things you really got to think about." Um, and I think that an LLC, depending on who the members are in the corporation, that it'll clarify that and it'll, it'll define it for you guys. But really, you know what? You guys should have some kind of agreement. If you're banned, what's going to happen if you split up? Um, uh, I know Steely Dan, like there's, there's a good story for them. If you go look at it about, you know, the one guy passed away and then the family didn't want the other guy to use the name. And it's like, he had already said, no, you continue on. And I'm pretty sure I got the right band. Um, and I can't remember which is which. But, um, you know, like if you had that in writing in an agreement, then it would clarify, 
clarify it and there would be no question about it. So like I say, this is just the tip of the iceberg. A few ideas for you and your band before you jump into setting up anything, you know, read, read, read and contact a reputable music attorney and accountant who, who could say, yeah, it's, it's, it's worth it for you to do that. Hey, thanks for listening and watching. Before you go, I want to tell you how Gig Faster can help you. You work hard at your craft, you write, you practice, you record, you push it to the limit. Getting recognition for music is hard, but Gig Faster can help. We build a network of over 6,000 venues, music promoters, and record labels, and we can help you distribute your press kit and book gigs in cities all across the country. Uh, we have low monthly pricing a free trial to help you get started so you can check it out and there's you can even do it one time if you want and just try it out remember if you want to succeed never quit <laughs>